we have a Muslim here, Asif Khan, saying, "Just let me let me show you his uh, his comment." Okay, Asif is upset, and we have to make Asif uh, uh, happy. Uh, what's wrong, Asif? Asif said, "Just like CP knows right from wrong." Asif, do you know right from wrong? Let me tell you about right and wrong. In Islam, it is right to have sex with a child and you call her a wife. In Islam, it's wrong to marry a widow, but it's right to marry a child. In Islam, it is right to beat a woman. It's not right to say to a man, you cannot beat a woman. In Islam, it's right to attack a church and to take the Christians and the women of the Christians as slaves. In Islam, a Muslim woman, she have to give herself to the Prophet if he like her ass. In Islam, it is not wrong to teach hate. It's not wrong to say the Jews should be killed. It's not wrong, according to Islam, to be racist, to say a black dog is the devil. It's not wrong in Islam to say angels are only white and the devil is black. It's not wrong in Islam to say we should hate all those who they are not Muslims including the Hindus, the Buddhas, the Christians, you name it. So you are telling me and you are coming to me to say to me, just like CP knows right from wrong, but yet he continue to let his mouth unchecked. Was your prophet, his mouth checked when he said, the one who is proud about his family, tell him to go and bite the penis of your father? Huh? You are the one who's talking about abusing women and men. Is it your prophet who split a woman two pieces when she was alive just because she made a poetry against him and she is over 80 years old? I mean, look how they try to fool you with the foolish statement. Is it your prophet, he says, the one who is proud about his family, tell him to go and suck the clitoris of his mother? And yet you claim that you know right from wrong? Suck the clitoris if, you've, if your mother. Bite the penis of your father. Is that a word of a prophet of God? And yet you are asking me to check my mouth? Are you there, Asif? Asif, what about you be brave and you give me a call in Paltok? Guys, do you think this Asif Khan, he have the, I don't want to say he have the balls because all the balls is given to Muhammad. He got a dish of shish kebab, he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. So Asif, do you, did you eat some of the shish kebab of the Prophet? So maybe you have the, 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 the balls to call me live? And I will make you read your Prophet saying, the one who is proud about his inheritance, go and tell him to bite the penis of his father. And I want you to tell me why your prophet did not clean his mouth and what kind of a prophet he says such a thing. Look, Asif is playing dead now. He is not responding. He got his diarrhea. In the best scenario, he will say, I have to go because it's got my period. Are you there, Asif? What happened? You thought I did not see your text and now you are dead? Hmm? And let me show you how the Muslim they fabricate the translation about the Prophet saying go and bite the penis of your father Guys read with me this translation and laugh A man, he was proud about his father in the time of Jahiliyyah. Time of Jahiliyyah, which means time before Islam, and they called him the time of ignorance. The fact it's you who live in ignorance today. The Prophet said, the Prophet said, and look at the funny, stupid translation, which is trying to deceive you. What the Prophet said? He said, if someone consoles people in the way people of uh, counsel each in the day of Jahiliyyah, which, which means before Islam, 
bite him then bite him what a liar where it says then bite him your prophet saying to people bite each other look how funny the translation the prophet said if somebody is a proud about his old days go bite him <laughs> This is a hadith from your prophet. You're a prophet saying bite him. Hey Asif, are you there? Asif. The prophet said, if somebody is a proud, we should bite him. We should bite him. We are follower of Allah being ordered. To bite him, to bite him, bite him. I mean, how in the world, you Muslims, you come with such a stupid translation? Are you there, Asif? Your prophet is teaching you, you peaceful Muslims, to bite somebody because he is practicing what they used to practice before Islam. He's proud about in his in in heritage. Bite him. The fact it doesn't say bite him. It says tell him bite the penis of your father. This has nothing to do with bite him. But because they are ashamed of what it says in Arabic, they try. They didn't know what to say here in English, so they said bite him. Asif, I want you to be honest with me. When the last time you bite you did bite an infidel? Brother Asif, did you practice this hadith, brother? Brother, did you bite anybody, brother? Asif, brother. So which one, Asif, you accept? My translation or the Muslim translation? If you accept the Muslim translation, it says your prophet, he says, bite him. Asif, I am proud about my inheritance. Are you going to bite me, brother? Hello? Hello? Asif will bite you. Asif will bite you. Asif will eat you alive as the Prophet ordered him. Hmm. Prophet is ordering you Muslim to bite someone, to bite people? Uh, Asif now is in a vacation. He is looking for his teeth. The fact this this hadith saying that the one who is proud about his heritage, telling him to go and bite the penis of his father. What bite him? من تعز بعزاء الجاهلية فأعضوه ولا تكنو And the Muslims, in order to cover the shame and the stupidity of their prophet, they said, oh, he says the prophet, he says, who do this, bite him, then bite him. Hey, Asif, brother, today we are going to do bite him attack. Brother, do you like to join us, brother? There's a guy, he is proud about himself, Asif, and we, as a believer, brother, we have to obey the order of the prophet, we have to bite him. Brother Asif, don't forget, brother, to brush your teeth, brother, and sharp them, brother. What is that? I mean, if Muhammad was speaking to a bunch of uh, German shepherd, I will say, okay, it makes sense. But Muhammad was not speaking to German shepherd. What do you mean, bite him? And the funny, the Muslim is asking you to check his mouth. What about your God? He check his mouth. Who promised us women who have a beautiful vagina? Brother? Have you ever heard of a guy describe for us how the penis will be? 
Look at this. I swear by Allah. Brothers and sisters, I swear by Allah, I swear by Allah, that your penis in the heaven, I swear by Allah, I swear by Allah, will never go flat, I swear by Allah, I swear by Allah. I mean, that's a good news. I mean, here we go, this must be a prophet of God. How Muhammad he knew this? If Muhammad is not a prophet of God, how he knew the conditions of a penis after a thousand of years from now? This is an amazing prophecy. The only one who knows what will happen to our penises is Muhammad. Nobody knows. Not even Christian brands. ZB. And not only that. Look the good news Allah will open import company and he will import for us from women from hell did you ask yourself why those women are from hell anyone knows why they are from hell why, why, why it says here women from hell those are women Allah will import from hell why anyone knows That makes sense. Prostitutes are very expert. I mean, why Allah want to import for you a decent woman to do not even know how to put a makeup? Bring you someone, she is, you know, she have a law, she have many certification of porn, a porn star. She knew all the tricks. So look how he described them. People from hell, whom they will have desirable front brother okay brother it says here desirable front what is in the front brother okay brother sister the person didn't ask a question with it anything it said desirable front a brother if you see a car what is the best plate of the car it's the front brother and the women the best of her beauty is in the front what is in the front he have two nipples, and he have two breasts, and he have, uh, you know, brother. Yeah, there. Yeah, the, go down. No, no, not. This is very low. No, no, the, the upper. Yeah, in the middle, in the middle. So, brother, the prophet he described for us the women they will come from hell, brother. They are very beautiful, and they have the terrible front. I know, sure, this is very logical. None of us he like to have somebody look like that Desirable front. What, what does that mean exactly? Hello? And this is why they commit suicide today in those churches because they want to get those women with desirable front. This is the evil satanic teaching. People are getting killed every day because of this stupid promises, satanic, demonic promises. Sadness around the earth happening every day because of this filthy man teaching his followers that if you kill in the name of Allah for my sake, I will give you this. And you can, you know, ask yourself, any, it doesn't matter who you are. You are a Muslim, you are a Hindu, you are a Buddha. What kind of a man who claimed to be of God, he makes such a promise? And by the way, they will say to you, this hadith is weak. But even weak hadith is accepted. And it's not weak. Sunan ibn Majah is a book of Sahih. The books of Sahih are six books. In the world today, anything the Muslim they see, it's very embarrassing. They say it's weak, which weak, which mean, uh, I mean, daif, which mean weak. Like it's, uh, but even weak is accepted. You can go right now and search in, in uh, YouTube, search for Sheikh Hamza. And he explained to you that he explained to the dummy Abdul that the word weak is a stupid to say. He said, even he says, weak hadith is a weak argument, which means you Muslims, when you say it's weak, you are being stupid because weak hadith is accepted. But anything they don't like, anything will make Muhammad look like a fool or perverted, they say it's weak. And I agree, Islam is weak. Allah is weak. He need Mujahideen to fight for him. He cannot do it himself. 